What is up, YouTube? Welcome back. Welcome back. I'm the Pew Pew Black Belt, aka Mr. X, and today is the day we are finally going to do a review, shoot, and clean on the Rock Island Armory. I've had this um, since last November during Black Friday. Uh, I picked this thing up for around 400 bucks, super cheap, because the price tag on these is right around that 600, close to 600 dollars. Um, and I recommend if any of you guys are interested in getting a, a 1911, these Rock Island Armories are pretty badass um, for that price tag. Um, very awesome gun. We're going to get into depth with that with this review shoot and clean. Um, yeah, I'll tell you all the features and everything, and then I'll show you how to field strip it and, and clean it. Alrighty, let's get into this video, and I hope you guys enjoy, and don't forget to join that family, hit that subscribe button down below. Alrighty, let's get to it. Alrighty, YouTube, let's take a deeper look at the Rock Island Armory 1911. It comes with this nice hard case. It doesn't come with the cardboard case, which is kind of nice, but basically, once you buy the gun, these are basically useless anyways. This is a nice, it's pretty thin plastic, um, it does have holes if you want to lock it up, but I do not recommend using this to keep your gun safe from anything. Um, I recommend getting yourself a little safe or something. Um, I, would, I wouldn't even use this to go to the range with it. There's just no space in it, as you can tell. You only get the one magazine. Owner's manual is very subpar. Um, that really, should, I mean, for $400, it doesn't matter if the owner's manual is super nice. I don't know. The Canics, I mean, they put a lot of effort into the owner's manuals. This one's really garbage. Um... They do show you some really crappy pictures on how to field strip this, which I'm going to do it so for the sake of YouTube so they don't demonetize. Um, that's why I'm doing it. I'm just sh showing the people how to field strip their firearm a little easier because owner manuals is garbage. It does not show a very good, very good job on it. They do have the certifications. It's certified that they, fire, they fired this firearm in, in the function test at the factory. You got those shell casings there. Um, it'll come in a bag that, and it's going to be completely oil soaked to help keep it from rusting while it is going from the factory to the gun shop and then to your house, um, for you to go do some shooting with. All right, let's dig into this 1911. All right. So they do have a couple different models, which a lot of companies do. Um, this is the slide that I do like. I like the front serrations and I like the back serrations and not only these serrations too, but these serrations are deeper grooves. I feel like it helps um get a better grip having these deeper grooves versus like a finer groove um that i've seen on some of the other 1911s that i've seen at gun shops i like the deep grooves and i like the front for press checking and it's really easy to get a good grip on these front serrations it's really nice really easy to press check to check to see if there's anything in the chamber which there's nothing in there you can see this gun is free and clear ready for the video like always um the back same thing, easy to get a grip on, if you describe it like this. Easy to get a grip there, easy to grip there. Awesome, pro, that, very good pro. Um, the grip, I would say, could use a little bit, could be a little better. Um, these G10 grips are nice, has nice grip texturing here, that's awesome too. But where I think they should have added some grip, which maybe this is where it saves them some cost, obviously, because this gun retails for around 600 bucks. Um, I got it for 400 bucks on Black Friday. Um, a lot of its competitors, they their price tags are on 800 to 1,000. Um, but yeah, I think they could have added this same kind of texturing on the front here. Be a big bonus, I I think. Um, be awesome if they did that. Maybe in the future. The trigger is awesome. I'll show you guys that here quick. I think it's like a two to three pound trigger. There's a firing pin wall. There's not much take up. You can also adjust this trigger there too. There's a little adjustment screw. You can adjust it. Um, the reset is really quick. Bam. And it throws your finger forward. I like that when you're shooting. This gun is really easy to shoot really accurately. Um, super impressed. I really like it. It's awesome. Flat shooter. Very, very smooth. There's a little bit of a break-in period um, with, the, with the gun, the frame, and the slide marrying itself. But that's pretty common with all metal guns. Um, yeah, just super awesome. I just couldn't believe what you're getting for $400. This is just incredible. Um, the sights, I have I have added white dots to my sights here. So from the factory, these already are dimpled on the rear. Um, I just cleaned it up, degreased it, and then I've added some nice bright white paint to those dimples. And then I tap and drilled the front sight there. 
worked and I added some nice bright white paint there too because I like the three white dots easier for me to pick it up really quickly and fast I like it but uh, the sights are good just the way they are from the factory but that's one thing to consider if you're it can be a con the sights are just all black so if, if that's a thing you, you might have to consider yeah you might have to buy some sights for your 1911 or just go get a different 1911 I guess but for 400 bucks, I think you can afford a new pair of sights if you don't like just the all blacked out sights. Or if you're feeling, if you're feeling uh, confident enough, you can just do what I did here. Drill and tap and drill the front, put some white, dot, white, white paint in there, and the same thing in the back. Um, super awesome. Um, the safety, obviously it works really well. I kind of like it a lot. Um, it kind of acts like a thumb throttle. I can put my thumb on here and I can really helps me keep good control of the firearm so it's not jumping up as much. I really like that. This the slide release, I like that it has this nice texturing here. Really easy to um get your thumb on there and pop it. I have short thumbs, I have short thumb syndrome. <laughs> but yeah, the slide release, awesome, nice texturing there. You can see that. Um I like that. It's not ambidextrous, just on the one side there. But there you go. That's a brief review now i think it's time to go shoot this puppy and then after shooting it i'll uh show you guys how to field strip and then where i clean where i put oil and how i clean my firearms um yeah so stay tuned don't go anywhere i hope you guys enjoy the video and uh yeah leave a comment down below if you guys think i'm doing a good job or if you have any questions um or if you want to just put your two cents in first firearms unloaded all right firearms unloaded um to do a quick field strip i like to do it this way all righty there's different ways you can do it uh, but this is the way i do it. line up this little notch with um your slide release this little notch with the slide release that way you can push it out there's a little rod here you push that rod pin through and then um it'll slide right out okay ready so we're gonna go like that get it lined up hold it Push the pin, slide it out just like that, as you saw, and then bada bing, bada boom. Look at that. Super simple, super easy. All right. Now the next part, um, you're gonna have to, we're gonna work on the barrel bushing. So we can put the frame to the side here. Um, but now we're just gonna work on the slide part now. Um, now you got to go to the the front part of the firearm here. This is the barrel bushing. You got to depress the spring a little bit. And this is why I think it's easier to do it this way. Because um, now you just put the slide down on a, on a hard surface. And then you're just going to depress. And then slide the barrel bushing over. You got to slide the barrel bushing over to the left if you're doing it just like me. So we're going to depress that. Slide the barrel bushing over. You can see now that it's kind of depressing it too. The barrel bushing is. And then we're going to go all the rest of the way. Just be careful. This is under tension here. So when you get the barrel bushing all the way over... You got to release that spring tension and try not to let it fly out of the sky. There you go. There you go. Alrighty. And now at this point, you can take your guide, your guide rod here, pull that out. And then we're going to take the barrel bushing out. So we got to slide the barrel bushing all the way to the other side. And then you can work it out. As you can see there. And now you got the, this part of the barrel slid forward. You slide the barrel, lift it up and slide it forward out of the slide and there you go we're completely field stripped and ready to do some cleaning Alrighty. 
So um, now that we're field stripped, my firearm, my firearm is already cleaned. I find it, I find it to be faster and easier this way instead of like going in super detailed. But I will brush over what I do. So um, I'll take my CLP, I'll spray it on the slide here, spray it on here, and then spray it on the feeding ramp. And then I'll take my toothbrush. I'll scrub, 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 scrub it all down, then take some paper towels, wipe it all down, and then uh, you kind of do that process until you get the gun, you get this, they get the frame part and these slides all nice and clean. And then once they're all nice and clean, you put a nice light coat of oil over them. Um, if you wanted to, you could just put some oil here and here when you reassemble the gun and it will travel all the way through the rest of the gun. But I like to make sure you have oil right here on the slides, all these wearing parts. Just put oil on them. Um, yeah, it's just good for the gun. <laughs> you know, on the slide, I'll do the exact same thing. I'll spray the oil on here, and I'll take my toothbrush. I'll scrub it all down, make it try to loosen up all of that. The CLP works really nice. It has some, it's kind of like magic. It'll break all that, all those deposits down really, really well. Um, if it's really, really dirty and you're having a hard time getting deposits off, I recommend just letting it sit, like especially for the barrel. Um, spray the CLP in the barrel first. Let it sit for a little while before you start running the brush through. It'll break down all those hard um, burned on deposits. But um, that's kind of the, the uh, magic of CLP. It's just awesome um, lubricant, cleaner. It's just an awesome um, lube. But yeah, so I want you, once you scrub it all down, I also recommend you scrub down the face here. Make sure that you get um, the extractor underneath the extractor really, really well so that there's no buildup because uh, so you don't have any failures to eject. Um, so clean that area really, really well. And then once you're all done clean, I always, I like using these, the Q-tips to go through the slide here, like I was telling you earlier on the grooves to make sure you get all of the deposits that will build up inside the grooves of the slide. So that's a nice little, these are nice little tools to use to get inside those grooves really nice. Um, once you get them adequately clean, you'll see, cause once you kind of keep doing it, um, the Q-tips won't be so dirty and black. Um, put some light oil in there too. Um, like I was saying earlier, if you just put some here, it'll travel all around, but I kind of like heavy oil. You can kind of see there's still oil there I, cause this gun's already ready to be reassembled. There's oil all over. Make sure you have nice oil here on this wearing part and then inside this, the groove of the slides here. Um, but yeah, otherwise this firearm is basically ready to be reassembled. Um, the barrel, um, when you're cleaning the barrel, like I was saying earlier, I try to spray it down first because there's some harder deposits inside the barrel. Um, so spray it down first so all that CLP can work its magics. So when you start brushing it, um, it'll clean it up really easy. And then I, I, do, I do a whole light coat of oil over the whole top of the barrel because the um, 1911s are such a tight fit um, for the firearm. Um, all these parts kind of like slide on um, all the pieces, like on the, on the slide. They're kind of all moving together. So I always feel like a nice coat of oil helps make everything run a little smoother. But... Alrighty, um, before we get back to assembling here, I just want to touch base. Make sure you guys put oil inside this groove here where the barrel bushing runs. Uh, and it'll make it easier for you to get that barrel bushing um, on and off because right out of the factory, you might have a hard time getting your barrel bushing off. You saw when I was disassembling, it was really easy. Well, this gun has been taken apart and cleaned and, um, and oiled. So that's why my barrel bushing slides in and out really easily. Um, a brand new gun is not going to be that case. Uh, maybe the more expensive guns are, but what I experienced with this Rock On Armory is that the barrel bushing was really, really tight. Um, they didn't put any lube on it from what I noticed on mine. Maybe yours is different, but uh, yeah, just a little tip. Make sure you lube up the area here where the barrel bushing is. You can see my barrel bushing has a nice light coat of oil all over it. Um, it'll go in and move easily um, to make reassembly and disassembly much easier. Alrighty, let's reassemble this firearm. So you're gonna push this piece forward, slide that barrel back in. Super simple, right? Um, now we can put that barrel bushing in. So you're gonna start off on the right side and then that groove, you can see right there, it's gonna fall in. Then once it's in, you can slide it to the left to get everything ready for reassembly. All right, now we can put the guide rod assembly in. Oh, the guide rod, it's not assembly. Um, put the guide rod in. Okay, guide rod's in. And now we can put that spring in. This is the fun part. Now your hands are all oily. Um, the spring, you can kind of see there's a little, there's like a little bit of green coloring there. That's the part that goes down if you happen to take um, 
everything apart and you go, oh, which end goes in? Well, that little piece that has some paint on it, that goes down inside. So you're gonna slide that in. And now this is the fun part to try not to have anything spring up on you. It's hopefully, I don't have that today. Hands are super oily and slide that barrel bushing over. And once you kind of catch it, you can kind of re, re grip and push it down on the tip of your finger and slide that barrel bushing over. And there you go. See, super simple, super easy. It's not intimidating at all. Um, the hardest part is if it's a brand new gun, that barrel bushing is going to be a little stiff. Um, at least it was on mine. So now it's all reassembled. Now, when we go put this slide back on, because we have it all reassembled, this is the part that can be kind of tricky. Um, but this little piece here, you got to get that little piece. If you can see that right there, you got to have it like that. And then when you slide it back on the gun, you got to slide it on slowly. And as soon as you see it, in this little hole here. Now we're gonna put the slide on the frame of the gun. Um, I find it to be a little easier to use gravity in your favor to help keep this in place. So push that down and then take the, take the frame, bring it to the top of the slide, bring it down. And then once you see that enter the groove, there it is on mine. Now you're gonna slide your piece in. I have to wiggle it a little bit. Okay, I got mine wiggled in a little bit. Now that we got that pin lined up where we need to be, now we're gonna be super careful to try not to scratch it. Um, we're gonna pull the slide back. We're gonna line up that little notch, that little groove notch right here in this big square. And once it's centered, just get a nice grip of the slide so it doesn't move. Take your slide, your slide release and bring it in there. And then you're just gonna push it in until it clicks in just like that. Just like we did when we disassembled it. And then now everything's back together. That's how simple it is to disassemble your field strip, your um, 1911. Super awesome. Now you can see all that oil all over the gun. But uh, don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button to, to join the family and see future and current videos. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to ask. I'll do my best to help you. And if it's something where I can't answer with words, I will make a video just for you to help you out. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next videos, and I'll see you at the next one.